One. Yeah. And we're action. And we're back live at the wood. I mean the App State Invitational track meet. <laughs> um, today was really cold when we first. Yeah, they were looking at me funny. Today was really cold when we first got here, and I was like, this honestly isn't going to be a good meet because we had spring break last week. But you know, as you can see here, it's completely cloud. I mean, cloudless. Which is good. Um, let's see. Over at Pole Vault, we had a good meet. Olivia did good. She got first place, I believe. She also got a PR in discus, I think. Um, over at High Jump, we had Kayla and Sydney, and they did good. As for the running events, I didn't see a lot of them, but I know that Watauga did good and that they had some really good competitors out here, like Reagan, who is low-key good. I won't lie. And over here, we have our star player, Olivia. <laughs> Olivia, I need you for my vlog. Yes, third place. Second. second place. My girl. In what event? The 4x1. Our 4x1 teams tends to succeed well. Yes. Olivia, what do you have to say about the beach? Um, it's pretty good. I'm glad it's warmed up a bit. And that the sun is still shining. And the track feels pretty good. Yeah. What? Over and out. Over and out! Okay, today we're gonna watch the 3200, which I don't usually watch because I there's usually other events, but I'm excited to watch and analyze it. Okay, so we have Reagan in front. I've heard Reagan's pretty good at long distance because I saw them at um, Indoor and they were good. Uh, we got one Watauga girl, yes, and she is going to kill it. I can just tell. It's Janie! She is sisters with. <laughs> She's sisters with Caroline, right? Yeah. Yes, a prodigy. We have a prodigy, guys. I'm pretty sure it's six laps. Or maybe it's. I think it's eight. Wait. All right, out here at App State Track and Field, um, Randy Marion Track and Field Facility. It's a pretty good competition here. I think a lot of high schools have been. Um, they had spring break last week, so they came out here. They were a little rusty. So kind of just you know knocking the rest off for the end of the season because I know a lot of teams have conference and regionals coming up. So I mean I mean a pretty good show y'all overall. We're just kind of wrapping things up here as we get to the last couple of heats of the women's 200 meter dash. I think he's he's second right now out of four. As he turns the curve, he is in great position. Push, Lade, push, push, Lade, push. See, using his breathing techniques, he's coming up on them. Oh, but I think he might get fourth. Still a good race for Lade. Yes! Woo! Good job, Annabelle! Oh yeah! First place, women's 32. Well, not me, but Annabelle. There we go. What was the time? 12.01 or 2? So. 12.02, I believe. Okay, what is the strategy when you go out? What's what and what leg are you? What leg are you? What's the strategy? Hard. Go out hard and then go long stride and then hard again for the last hundred. Awesome. And what do you what do you like tell yourself when it gets like really tough and you gotta like keep running because the four hundred is not a fun race? Um, be Avery. Hey, there you go. There you go. So who are we here with? Sadie. Buchan oh Buchanan. Okay, and we just finished up the four by 400 meters. So, Sadie, if you could tell us just a little bit about how the race went um, and how you felt like the team did. Um, I feel like we did pretty good. It was really hard, but we ran a better time than we usually run. So that's good. That's really good. How did you kind of feel like the day went? Um, I feel like it wasn't my best times or anything, but I feel like after being in Puerto Rico for a week, it was pretty good. All I did in Puerto Rico was pretend to be a mermaid and work out on this little bike thing, and I generated a lot of watts from that. There you go. But I wasn't really running or anything, so I feel like after that, it went pretty good. And you fed an iguana? Yeah, I fed an iguana. Could you talk too. a little bit about how you, what feeding an iguana was like? Um, well, I don't think he had any teeth. Okay, wonderful. Okay. Um, and if you could just make one last comment about kind of the, the person that catches you after your races. Oh, Grayson's awesome. Love him so much. He's my favorite. Perfect. Thank you. Go Curtis! Go Curtis! Come on, Curtis! Let's go, Curtis! Let's go! Let's go! Let's go! Go, go, go! Get him, get him! Yeah! 
Okay, wherever I want to be at the end of this, get there. Start where you want to finish. Okay, outstanding job, Calvin. Good job. Hey, tuck in a little bit closer, then go to sleep. All right, just ride it. Just ride. Where we at, D? Get up in there, Grady. Stay on that rail. Good. There it is, Grady. Good. Get in that group. Get in that group. Okay, let's go then. You feel it? Let's do it. I'm all for it, man, but be committed. If you're going to go, you go strong. Jump that gap. Come on, D. Jump this gap just a little bit. I know it hurts, bud, but it's going to get wider and wider if we don't do something about it right now. Hey, baby. Hey, baby. I want you to let loose like a wild man. I want you to let loose like a wild man. Open up your stride, cow. Let it loose. Huge. Huge. <laughs> Come on, G. Come on, G. Get across the line. Get across the line. Hey. <laughs> so proud of you, man. Executed oh. perfectly. Oh. Executed perfectly. I think, did I know you were split that? Maybe. Uh, uh, Elena should have your splits over here. Uh, once you two broke away, and then you two used each other to, you know, to further each other. Both of you's uh, calls, man. That was so good. So good. You're so smart in the first mile, though. So smart in the first mile.